I think the most extraordinary thing that's happened already, and I think that is also covered in, the, in bits of the report, is what the impact of uncertainty, for example, is on business decisions, uh, which of course can have a devastating impact generally on the economy. Uh, what we've seen already, which actually isn't made very clear in this report, but has been documented elsewhere, is the cost to the economy already of the referendum decision. Uh, the vote to leave the EU has already affected businesses very significantly. We've seen business investment going down. Uh, the last uh, three quarters of the data that's available anyway for 2018 suggest a fall each quarter in business investment. That's likely to have continued in the last quarter of 2018. And given that we have even more uncertainty right now, we're likely to see that uh, falling further. Unfortunately, we've seen consumer confidence actually declining. There's been this huge cost to the economy, which is already estimated 2.5% nearly of GDP since the referendum. You could have been paying quite a lot of money to the NHS uh, with whatever it is that we have lost already, uh, which is in the tens of billions, of course. Um, and that's an extraordinary fact, and it will not be recovered. What I found really interesting in the report also was this emphasis on productivity. If you don't invest, you basically don't innovate and you lose competitiveness. Will we ever recover that um, after whatever decision may be made in terms of how we exit the EU, which for the moment is still very uncertain? I think it's going to be very, very difficult. And if you look at the gap that's already, well, it was there, but it's already been developed since uh, the referendum in terms of our productivity and that of other nations that we compete against, it's very, very worrying that that will just not be recovered. There is another element in the report which I have studied quite a lot and I really enjoyed reading about, which is the emphasis on women and productivity. And of course, lots of women lost out, particularly because of the, the austerity which has been pursued since 2010, um, and losing them and not having them in jobs that pay a lot and where they can actually contribute properly, it's a huge loss to the economy and a huge loss to productivity. And it's that emphasis on productivity that needs to be made again and again in relation to women and them staying in the labour force. So there's an interesting study about the impact of maternity pay and maternity leave for women staying actually in their jobs and progressing, not only in business more generally, but also an interesting report about academia, which I found fascinating. So all these things need to be looked at. The worry that I have more generally is that evidence-based policy is no longer pursued in government because of the ideology of Brexit and therefore all, all this data that is there should have been looked at, should be continuing to have an impact on economic policy, just doesn't get listened to. And of course, again, again as the report points out, this aversion to any experts telling you anything is very, very bad news in terms of where we might be going from here on.